Hello everyone, this is EB the Original Master here with a brand new discussion video. So in this video, I'll be talking about why I think online Mario level editors out there are better than uh, Super Mario Maker 2 made by Nintendo themselves. So, um, way before Super Mario Maker and way before the Nintendo Wii U and the, Nin the Nintendo Switch, um, there has been many different Mario online level editors out there that allowed people to create their very own Mario levels, and they had many great options. Um, some examples of these online Mario level editors are Mario Builder, which was created by Ting Thing. He's also the creator of Platform Builder, which was a game that I showcased back in June of this channel. Um, there's also a Mario Editor, which is a game created by Fan Game, uh, which is a a online uh, game developer who makes these online fan fandom Mario games that you can download from the websites. It can, you can download them from, I guess, fan game websites. I'm not sure where you can download them from, but you can just type in Mario Editor download, and you can probably find the link to that. Um, there's also Super Mario Brothers Game Master, also created by Fan Game Hello. Yes, that's the name of the, 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 the developers of the Mario level editors. And there's Super Mario Brothers X, which also has a level editor game added to the game. Well, what I meant to say is there's a level editor mode in the game. So, yes. So, those are just examples of online Mario level editors you can download from, from the websites. Just type them in on, in Google. You'll probably find them and download them for your computer. But, yeah, those are just examples of online Mario level editors. And now I'm actually going to talk about why they are better than Super Mario Maker 2. Now, um, the many problems that people have with Super Mario Maker 2, including myself. Now, before I get any further with this, I do not own Super Mario Maker 2. So these are just based off of my thoughts from videos that I've seen on YouTube. Just because, doesn't, just because I don't own a game doesn't mean I'm familiar with it. I am familiar with Mario Maker 2. I know what the game is about. And that's what I'm going to here to tell you guys in this video. So from... Videos that I've seen of Mario Maker 2, I've been noticing that there has been lots of lacking of things in the sequel to Super Mario Maker that just baffles the fact for it to be called a sequel in the first place. So, for this to be a sequel to Super Mario Maker, you would have expected that Nintendo would have probably went on out all the full potential to actually add a whole bunch of things to the game before its release. But that's not the case here. Now, um, in Mario Builder, which is the first Mario level editing game that I'm going to talk about here, is actually the best online Mario level editor you can possibly find on the internet. And Mario Builder, that, that lacks in Super Mario Maker 2, is that it has a world map editor. You can create your own world maps. Um, the world map editor is in the same format as in Super Mario Brothers 3 meaning that the layout of the world map editor is the same as Mario 3. Um, there's also a title screen maker. You know how when you boot up a Mario game or any video game in general, there's like a title screen that shows the name of the game and the what year the game was published or released? That's what, Super Mario, that's what Mario Builder has. It has a title screen maker. In the title screen maker, you can slap in sprites of Mario, Luigi. Um, you can also slap in some enemies into your title screen. And there's also a story writer in the world map editor. So in the world map editor, there's an option that you can type in your own story that appears on the screen once you boot up your game after you're done creating your Mario games on Mario Builder. So what here, the way how this works is that um, if you go to the world map editor, there's a button that allows you to write your own story. You type out a story, type out what the plot of your game is, and then... Before your game starts, your, your little story will appear on screen, which is pretty interesting. Now, Mario Maker 2 does have a story, and it's pretty bare bones. So in the, in the Mario Maker 2 story, obviously, you have um, Mario, Toad, Toadette, and you got these Toad characters rebuilding Peach's castle. The undo dog screws up everything. He steps on the reset rocket. The, the, the castle is destroyed. And then you have to rebuild it by basically clearing levels created by Nintendo themselves, and from people from across the globe. Yeah, that's interesting, but shouldn't there be an option where you can make your own story? 
Like instead of having instead of like a cut scene, it could be like a text on it could be like a text box on screen that says Mario and friends are having a stroll in the Mushroom Kingdom. Then Bowser comes out of nowhere and he's up to his no he's up to his bad tricks again. You see, if Mario Maker 2 had a story writer, that would have been really interesting. So Nintendo says, hey, since this is a, 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 a level editing game, why don't you come up with a story that your characters can go on an adventure in? You see? But no, Nintendo just likes to make their own stories because they're, they're, they're big and crazy whatnot. But yeah. Now moving on to um, some power-ups in these Mario level editing games. So in, in the Mario level editing games such as a Mario Builder, Mario Editor, and Super Mario Bros. Game Master, they have so many unique power-ups that are way better than the power-ups in Super Mario Maker 2. For example, in Mario Builder, there are so many unique power-ups in that game that lacks in the Mario series. Um, one of the power-ups is a Fire Flower slash Raccoon Suit. So it's basically a red Super Leaf, and if you touch it, you'll turn into Fire Raccoon Mario, which is a combination of the Fire Flower and the Raccoon Suit. So you can fly into the air like Raccoon Mario, and you can throw fireballs at the same time. That's unique. Um, there's also a Bowser Shell power-up in Mario Builder, which functions the same way as the blue Koopa Shell power-up from New Super Mario Bros. DS, which has Mario transform into Bowser, and you can basically breathe out fire like Bowser, and if you run at full speeds, Mario can go inside of his shell, just like the blue Koopa shell does, and he can attack enemies if it comes impact. You see, Mario Builder already has unique power-ups and way more unique enemies. In fact, the enemies in Mario Builder are way more in variety than in Super Mario Maker 2. In Mario Builder, you have pretty much every known Mario enemy that we've known of. There's the Rexes from Super Mario World, they also have the Dino Torches from Super Mario World. There's also the Hammer Brothers, Boomerang Brothers. Um, there's also the Koopalings as boss battles, which isn't in Mario Maker 2, which doesn't make any sense because I don't know why Nintendo didn't add the Koopalings in Mario Maker 2. I mean, if they were developing the game, they could have at least added the Koopalings, right? You see, it just makes no sense that Nintendo makes a sequel to Super Mario Maker and, and already the features that the game has doesn't seem all that big. Now, there is one thing that Super Mario Maker 2 does that Mario Builder doesn't, which is the course conditions. So if you guys don't know what course conditions are, there's, there's actually a thing in Mario Maker 2 that allows you to set, to set a specific objective for you to in, or, in order to clear a stage, such as collect these many numbers of coins, defeat these numbers of enemies. You must clear the level without stomping on the ground. See, those are interesting, but just because Mario Maker 2 has course conditions, and all that good stuff doesn't mean it's doesn't mean it's all 100% perfect because again Mario Maker 2 ain't got no ain't got no um acorn power up the super acorn from new super brothers u they don't have the hammer brothers suit which isn't in the game i don't know why they didn't add it that in Mario Maker 2 i mean you see nintendo is developing these games and they're not really thinking outside of the box because if they were thinking outside of the box they could have easily added the hammer brothers suit and the super acorn and another thing that Mario Maker 2 lacks is more themes. So, yes, Mario Maker 2 does have interesting themes, such as the sky theme. Um, there's also desert, snow, and, um, yeah, so those are basically the new themes in Super Mario Maker 2. The desert, the snow, the sky, and the forest theme. But they're missing two other themes that really doesn't make sense to me. Where's the volcano theme? Where's the beach theme? Where's the mountain slash cliff theme? Why weren't they added in the final product of the game? You see, it's those little details that Nintendo should have definitely added while they were developing this dumb little Mario Maker game. But no, they're like, huh, let's develop these great themes. And I think these are, these are good enough themes. And one staff member says, yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. What about the volcano theme? What about the, uh, uh, um, uh, the beach theme? Oh, we'll add those later in DLC. No, why can't we just add them now so the, the, the consumers can have more to play around with? That's what I just don't get about Mario Maker 2. I just don't get it. I don't know why was this game released. Why was it released? Was it released because it, it is for an excuse for Nintendo to release the game so the kids can have something to play during the summer? Yeah, that's cool and all, but still, there's, it's just lacking of things. And going back to the enemies again, 
this is just another really thing that baffles me. Why aren't there any pokies in Mario Maker 2? There, there are no pokies in Mario Maker 2 and there's a desert theme. Are you, are you, really Nintendo, really? You, you make a desert theme, but you don't add the pokies. What sense does that make? You see, Mario Maker 2 was rushed. They rushed the game so they can release it so the kids can have something to play during the summer. They, 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 there's lacking in bosses. The only bosses in Mario Maker 2 is Boom Boom, Bowser, Meowser from the 3D World theme, Pom Pom, and Bowser Jr., but no Koopalings. Why? The Koopalings debuted in Mario Brothers 3, Nintendo. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But then again, it's just baffling. And then another thing is that I've noticed is that in the Super Mario 3D World theme, you can't stack Goombas. Why? Why can't you stack the go No, no, first of all, in the Mario Maker 2 Direct, as soon as the Direct started, you clearly saw a, a 3D animated version of Mario and a 3D anim animated version of Luigi in their little builder, Bob the Builder costumes, le building a level, and you clearly saw Mario placing a pipe and out the pipe came a stack of Goombas. Why can't you do that in the 3D World theme? And, 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 the, and the part that also doesn't make any sense is that there are stack Goombas in 3D World. If you play 3D World, you've noticed there's a Goomba tower in the game. So what? Yeah, Mario Maker 2 was rushed. It was rushed. So the kids have something to play during the summer. Well, you know what, Nintendo? It's time for you to think outside the box. These online Mario level editors are doing way better than you because they, they, they know what they're doing because they, they, they add all these unique themes Another thing that is also baffling that I've noticed in Mario Maker 2 from the videos that I've seen is that you can't add water and lava outside of the themes that they're already in, such as the forest theme. There, there's, you can't add water in the ground theme, which doesn't make any sense because in the Mario games, you have seen water in the ground theme. What I mean by the ground theme, I mean the overworld theme, the one with the trees and the, and the hills and whatnot. <coughs> yeah. And then you can't also, and you can't add lava in the in the ground theme. Like, why, why, why can't you do that? Why, why can't Nintendo allow you to put lava and water outside of the, the themes that they're already in? The, the lava cannot be added in the ground theme. It can only be added in the castle theme, and the water can't can't be added only in the forest theme. And then, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It really doesn't. And then the tagline for this game, it says, in Super Mario Maker 2, you can build the Mario courses of your dreams. Of my dreams. Okay, if I can build the Mario courses of my dreams, why can I not add the lava and the ground theme? Why can I not add water and, and any of the themes outside of the forest theme or the, or the lava and the castle theme? Why can they, why they're, they're only limited to those and not to the other levels? And yeah, there's, there's also a night theme that changes the physics around. That's cool. But... Just because you add a night theme and you add these additional new themes, level themes, I mean, that doesn't make an excuse for you not to add the, the other elements that are from those games. Why wasn't the Super, Corn, why wasn't the super Acorn added in, 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 the, in, the, in the NSMBU style? Why wasn't the Rexes, those, the little dinosaur enemies from Super Mario World, why weren't they added in the Super Mario World style? You see, I just don't know why Nintendo can't make these games big for anyone can to, to enjoy i mean it, it it that would have been perfect for super Mario maker 2 if they added rexes um if they added um the koopalings as boss battles like mario builder does and mario editor yes mario editor is another um mario level editing game that is way better than super Mario maker 2 now let me tell you one thing that that um that mario editor also has that super Mario maker 2 doesn't they also have power-ups outside of the 2D Mario games in Mario Editor. They even, they <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry if I'm stuttering here. I'm sorry if I'm coughing, but bear with me. Uh, the Bee Mushroom from Super Mario Galaxy is in Mario Editor. That's cool. The Propeller Suit. Well, that's in Super Mario Maker 2, but yeah, but that's the only NSMBU power-up in the game. There's no Penguin Suit. Well, well, yeah, Mario Editor does have a Penguin Suit. And they also have like a ninja power up. <coughs> There's also a power up that allows Mario to wall jump, but wall jumping is already a, a thing in the NSMBU style and the Super Mario 3D World style, so that's pretty much pointless. 
But yeah, in general, all I'm saying is, is that these online Mario editors have way more in store. Mario Builder with this level editing. Oh, oh, hard, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me let me rephrase this again. Mario Builder with this world map editor. Awesome. A story writer. Awesome. A title screen maker. Awesome. Nintendo, what is going on with you? Like, you're, you're telling me you've released a, a sequel to Super Mario Maker. <clears throat> and not only you've limited things. You've also taken away other things that the, that the original Mario Maker had, such as the Amiibo feature. I don't know why they got rid of that. You're not adding more features to the game. It, it, it just makes it just seems that Mario Maker Two really isn't the big sequel that the game that the game claims it to be. Yeah, the course conditions are cool. You adding slopes is cool, but the lack of a lava theme, aka volcano theme. No, it's a lot better if you say volcano because it's not lava because lava is in the castle theme you should, you should say volcano theme the lack of a volcano theme a beach theme a mountain slash cliff theme is baffling to the eyes it, you're not adding power-ups to those corresponding games such as no super acorn no stackable goombas in the 3d world style you're only limited to certain elements in those game themes such as you can't add water in the ground theme or or adding lava to other course elements besides <clears throat> the castle theme. Just, and then the, the straw that breaks the camel's back for me the most is the fact that you're, you, you, you can't make longer levels either. Why can't you make longer levels? I mean, <clears throat> shouldn't the, the, the level creator have access to make longer levels at will? Why are you only limited to have this length of a level and this length of a level, meaning you can't have a level too long, you can't have a level too short, it has to be right in the middle. That's, that's kind of baffling. You should be able to make longer levels because that's fun. But I know, I, know, I understand that, but still, you should be able to have access to make longer levels. So with that said and done, Super Mario Maker 2 <clears throat> is an amazing looking game from what I'm seeing, but it's lacking in the variety of department com of content. Meaning that I know I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat myself one last time with the Super Mario Maker Two whole thing. The story mode it's it's pretty interesting. Yeah, you got Mario, Luigi. Well, Luigi isn't in the story mode. He is in the story mode, but he has, he isn't in the opening cutscene where Mario, Toad, and Toadette was building the castle. I guess I don't even I don't know why Toadette's chief like well she has to do with the with Peach's castle. Like seriously, she she doesn't do anything, but she doesn't do anything in the story mode. She just stands there. Just doing nothing, making Mario do all the bloody work. You know, you know what, Toadette? Frick you, man. Frick you, Toadette. But anyways, that's all I have to say about these online Mario level, level editing games. They are way better than Super Mario Maker 2, in my opinion, because they have st they have way more options. More enemies, more features, more of everything that Super Mario Maker 2 lacks. And yeah, Nintendo. I'm sorry, but you should have went outside the box of Super Mario Maker 2 by adding enemies to those corresponding games, power-ups to those corresponding games, such as the Super the, the super Acorn from NSMBU, the Hammer Suit from Super Mario Bros. 3. They're not in Super Mario Maker 2, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, you got the Super Hammer. Man, frick the Super Hammer. All it does is it just turns you into your builder outfit, and you, like, have these, these little cardboard crate boxes that you can throw, and you can, like, step on as the platforms. Heck no. Heck no. Bring the hammer suit, man. Bring it. Well, what are your guys' thoughts on these Mario level editing games out there on the internet? There's Mario Builder, Mario Editor, uh, Super Mario Bros. Game Master, Super Mario Bros. X. What are your thoughts on those games? And what are your overall thoughts of Super Mario Maker 2? Is it is it a fun sequel as the original Super Mario Maker? Or do you like the original Super Mario Maker more than the sequel? What are your thoughts about it? Yeah, this is actually a pretty long video, but hey, that's fine. I, I love longer videos. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Bye.